All right, hun buns, let's ride. We got another Jerry Maguire. So we gotta go on in and go and get this OT. And for those who are just now tuning in who have never probably seen the Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire is a movie with Tom Cruise, uh, Cuba Gooden Jr., and Renee Zellweger. And I call overtime at work when I go in, no matter when it is, day, evening, night, whatever. Um, I call it Jerry Maguire. That's my overtime. That's my show me the money. So, this is Jerry Maguire video. <laughs> And we're heading in now. I hope everybody is at home, snug, bucking the rug, comfortable. You know, you know, already completed your day, finished your day, you're relaxing. You're getting your woo sound. <laughs> Some of y'all could be getting up and getting dressed to go in. So, um, oh yeah, uh, when I got home. I went to sleep. I was tired. I guess because it was raining. You look at the streets now. You wouldn't even know when it was raining. Earlier today. At all. Not to save your life would you have known. Because um, it, it's some dried up. It's not a, a drop or a wet spot. On the street. Anywhere. So. I. Um. I guess it's just scattered showers, more or less is what it, it was throughout the day. You know, some hard rain here, some sprinkling here, little, you know, showers there, but I guess nothing like major major. So, excuse me, I'm on my way into this job at job. Well, the other building. There's another building I, I, that I go to, not necessarily um, mine. So, um, like I said, when I got home, I didn't stop by any store because when I was going to go to the exit to exit off to go to the store, that exit ramp was all the way back up to the freeway. And there was a line just to exit off to go to the, that uh, HEB. I was like, oh, no, thank you. Kim is going home. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm Kimberly Rochelle. Uh, but I was like, oh no. I'm going home. You understand me? I, I pulled up. Urkel. I'm going home. I don't have to stand for this. I'm going home. So if you haven't seen the show Urkel before. Um, I'm sorry. Family Matters. Before. And if you haven't watched the movie Jerry Maguire before. You know, try to check those out. And um. I did that, and um, I came home, I ate um, some greens and cornbread, ooh, when I tell you it was so good, it was so good, well, I'm sorry, I had, um, it was greens, um, kale, it was collard green, kale mixed together with some quinoa, and, um, uh, make it into or, um, a super protein um, meal and um, I had my cornbread but baby when I tell you it was so good it was so good I, I, woo -hoo -hoo. Mm, mm, mm. I was like dang I got full too I, I, it hit the spot for me it hit the spot and um uh, don't worry, y'all. I also have my mouth coming, you know. I ordered that. But with everything going on right now, um, I don't know if my mouth's going to, when it's going to arrive. You know, because most companies outsource that's not within the states. They outsource from overseas. So, I don't know if, um, when I'll be getting my mouth. Like I said, push, come, and shove, and break down. I might have to just go on into Best Buy, Wally World, Target, or wherever it is. 
economy amount to be able to use and probably put you guys in a better position um, while I'm driving to make these, these videos because my mount broke um, what's that? a little while back, a little ways back uh, I want to say maybe a week ago I want to say maybe a week um, oh! guess what I found today remember I kept uh, well in my other videos you, you guys that's you know not Jerry Maguire's uh, video but I kept looking for two days for my Fitbit charger because my Fitbit was on like uh, 16% and I was like I need to charge it I need to charge it couldn't find it nowhere to save my life okay I looked on well I looked on the uh, let me say I found it on the dresser today well not the dresser nightstand today right I found it on the nightstand today when I got home because I said I was determined to find it but for the past two days I did look on the nightstand I looked on the side of the bed looked on my dresser I checked my jacket that I normally take to work with me because you know the building be freezing cold um, outside could be warm and toasty or burning up but that building would be cold so um, I sit up there and um, check my jacket and stuff I didn't check I'm scrounging around looking at my car on the side um, of where uh, driver's seat and everything and um, thought it was maybe I left it at work because the last place I remember charging it was at work I'm looking at um, by my um, the tower that's um, to see maybe if I had it still plugged in and I forgot to unplug it I am looking everywhere I am looking like a plum fool you hear me I could not find this thing for two days had no clue so, like I stated earlier, it was on the nightstand. So, when I got home today, I was like, forget this. I'm going to check all around my nightstand and my bed. Because it's not in my jacket. It's not in my purse. Uh, it's not at work. I said, it's got to be somewhere in this house. You know, it, 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 it just had, it, it's in this house. So, I go and I look by, you know my uh where my laptops and uh stand and stuff is and i don't see it so i just started looking all over the nightstand there it is over on the side in the corner which i don't remember putting it there on the other side uh behind my laptop i said now ain't this about up by the way i took it and um i charged up my fitbit and then uh, while that was charging, I went to sleep. And I understand, you know, I, it'll sip in, regulate, and tell you how long you slept. It wasn't going to tell me today. It wasn't going to tell me this afternoon. I was going to sleep while that was charging. I didn't care what it is that I wanted to keep track. It wasn't going to keep track of that today. Not this afternoon, it wasn't. Well, I should say this evening, it wasn't. So I went to sleep until um my best friend called me and i was sleeping so good i was so confused i must have been so tired to where i thought it was my alarm going off three in the morning i was dreaming because i keep hearing my phone <laughs> while i'm sleeping <laughs> so i'm dreaming that it's my alarm going off so i pop up my out of my sleep I'm, okay okay i'm getting up I'm getting up because that's what I usually see by the second time um, when the alarm goes off the second time and I, I could have swore I really thought it was the morning I'm getting up I'm going in the kitchen trying to sip and get my lunch together um, I'm going in the bathroom to go turn on the water and stuff so I can you know it can start to get hot and warm and stuff. I kid you not. I was up by, and I put my phone uh, my phone on speaker trying to talk to my best friend while I'm trying to run around and get dressed thinking I'm about to be late. And uh, I go back into the room so I can get my clothes. And I'm like, um, I was like, you there? 
I said, hold on, hold on. I go to my phone, she, she ain't hung up. I said, oh, okay, and I look at the time. It is 9.30 at night, y'all. I said, huh? I looked at that phone again. I said, oh my God. You know, best believe I'm gonna turn them lights back off, turn that water off, and I'm gonna hide my ass back in the bed. Until they call me about an hour later. To my Jerry McGuire. <laughs> Because they already know it worked, what that means. So, my supervisor called me and he was like, uh, he said, how you doing? I said, I'm doing all right. How about yourself? He said, did I wake you? I said, no, not really. And uh, he said, well, Jerry McGuire. I said, oh, okay. I said, that's what's going on. I said, all right, I'll be there. So, let me get up and get myself together. And uh, so... I'm on my way in. So, uh, but yeah, I was just tired and delirious. I, I kid you not. I was just straight out of it. It was no keeping up of, of being in my right mind to know from night and day. Not, not to save my life. Night and no. No. I couldn't begin to tell you. I'm trying to... Okay, now we're on the main freeway, so we should have better lighting going in. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, I am so tired. I just went to sleep when I got home. I was tired. I guess because I didn't go to sleep. Like, all right, the day before, I, I slept in late. And I mean, I slept in late to like, I just kept waking up. And then, like, be up for, like, a little while and falling right back to sleep. Waking up, being up for a little while and falling back to sleep. The whole time, right? So when I finally got up, made myself get up, it was like three something in the afternoon. So I was like, okay. So I knew I was going to pay the cost because it's three something in the afternoon. Knowing that I'd probably be up majority of the night. I done slept the damn day away. So I sat up there and um, I think I was up all night. I, like, I didn't go back to sleep. I sat up there and uh, like I said, I caught up on some things, some shows that I was watching. And um, from there, my alarm went off as it normally did yesterday morning. Well, I should say this morning. And the only thing I did was get up and get myself together. My ain't still been asleep since 3 o'clock the following afternoon. So I get up and I go to work today. Like my regular shift. You best believe I was tired when I got home. I was tired. And the rain and the people on, you know, the stretch of being crowded in the store. I was like, oh no. Kim is going home. Me and my car, we're going home. So that's what I did. And um, by doing that, um, what else did um, I went home? Like I said, I ate. I ate my um, cornbread and my uh, green mixture. And uh, I drank the uh, H-E-B, have these uh, sangria sodas. And I remember getting that uh, last month that I got the sangria soda. Uh, that's, you know, the little 12 ounce cans that's in the uh, package, the little 12 that's in the package, 12 cans um, in the box. So. I've had those since last month, so I'm down to three. So when I tell you, I really don't drink a lot of sodas, but if I have a taste for it, I will. Well, yeah. So I drank one today, so I'm down to two. Um, everything else is uh, sparkling water. I have sparkling water in the house. I have uh, my water in the house. And uh, I have my apple water well uh, so 
I have some water. I just wanted to, you know, I'm down to a case and a half. Uh, so that's the only reason I was trying to go to the store and get some. If I guess if this wasn't going on, you know, um, still, even right now, I would just still trying to go and get what I would normally get, which is usually just, you know, two or three cases of water. But with this going on, the, you know, the coronavirus and everything, then um, I will most likely just, uh, what you call it, get maybe two cases, because I, I guess they're regulating that too, I'm not too sure, but I, that's the only thing I would get and bring myself on home. I wouldn't be going to hopscotch all over town from store to store trying to get whatever. No, I'm good. Get only what I need and go and buy my business. Speak of the devil. Why is there an HEB truck in front of you? <laughs> so the uh, truck reads their slogan, low prices on board, HEB. Just finished talking about them. So... I remember one time I had to come in for overtime. Ooh, the train's going by. Well, it's time to go hop the train. All aboard! But uh, I was going in. And I was doing, uh, you know, uh, pictures of the, the moonlight as, as I was going in. And lo and behold, there was a Sara Lee bread truck that was. Just like H-E-B is on, on the freeway right now. There's a Sara Lee bread truck as I was going in. So I took a picture and was like, you know, Jerry got me out here chasing this bread. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So let me see. I'm going to show y'all. Can y'all see the truck? There is the H-E-B truck. Feeding Texas with low prices, H-E-B. So, there's the truck. Uh, the pink can soda. Um, 
mellow yellow is the yellow can. Um, you know, that's when Cheetos was in the red, white, and blue bag. Doritos was in the, I think, the yellow and orange bag. They had the little uh, hat on it and stuff. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, what else did we used to eat as kids? Potato sticks. And I believe they still have those. I haven't, uh, I can't say I found them or looked for them, but they, we used to sit there, you know, sit on the porch during the summertime um, when we lived with my grandmother. Uh, we sit on the porch in the summertime. She would give us a can of Vienna sausages and she would give us a can of potato sticks. And we would sit there and we'd eat the Vienna sausage and the potato sticks and have some Kool-Aid. That was our snack. If not, we had popsicles, or we had fudge sickles, uh, orange cream sickles. Um, my grandma, if, if the any time that it, it hit her to where she wanted some ice cream, we would make ice cream. My grandma had that old um, wooden bucket to churn ice cream to where you had the, uh, uh, what's it, the tin or metal cylinder on the inside and she would get that uh rock salt and um make the mixture up and stuff to make uh ice cream and um we would take turns as kids one person would sit on it you know because you you know the crank that you have to crank it up this ain't what you got now you put it in there and you press the button and walk the hell away well no you had to put some arm work so as kids everybody wanted to take turns from sitting on the top of the lid so that um, you could keep it down and um, and somebody else would take turns cranking it so you can get the ice cream. And so I remember that. There's a lot of different things I remember that you know I'm, I'm cool with. Okay, y'all, I done made it here to this job. This jobby job. And uh, got some cars still here. That's what they doing. That's what they own. That's what they are buying. Well, like I said, I done made it here, y'all. So I'll try to continue on in the morning because I'm about five, maybe ten minutes from um, my actual. Um, building so I'm gone in this place so I can get get the helping out so I will talk to y'all later okay bye y'all see you in the morning maybe don't make me lie to you